Now we'll find the landmarks of the patient's anterior pelvis. We'll start with the patient's iliac crest. To find these, sweep your hands down the patient's sides until you feel the top of their hip bone. That is the crest of their ilium, also known as the iliac crest. If you stand using your dominant eye, you can assess iliac crest height, which is important for OMM diagnosis. Here the patient's left iliac crest is higher. Next, we'll find the patient's ASIS, or anterior superior iliac spine. To find this, we'll start same spot and palpate down using more of our palms this time until we find two big bumps, one on each side, with your palm. You'll know when you find it. If you're having trouble finding it, you can find the iliac crest like we just found and move your hands forward because the ASIS is actually the anterior portion or the anterior horn of that iliac crest. You can hook your thumbs underneath each ASIS to assess for height there, which is important for diagnosis as well. And the patient's ASIS is high on the left side. We'll next look for the patient's AIIS, or anterior inferior iliac spine. From the ASIS, which we just found, you'll want to move caudally, which is down towards the patient's feet, and medially, which is towards the patient's midline, just a little bit from the ASIS until you find the AIIS. Next, we'll find the patient's pubic symphysis. Now, it's very important that you're comfortable with your patient and that you talk to them about this before you actually try and find it. To do it, you have the patient find their belly button or their umbilicus, umbilicus and use your palm and palpate down very slowly and very tenderly until you reach a bone. That's where the, pu the pubic symphysis is located. Later, you'll learn how to then take this bone and use your two thumbs and palpate for the patient's pubic tubercles to assess for pubic tubercle height, which are essentially each side of the pubis bone. Lastly, we'll find the inguinal ligament. To find that, we'll start at the patient's ASIS and then imagine a line running from that down to the pubic tubercle, which we just found, on each side. It should feel like a rubber band-like structure very band-like, thread-like. It is a ligament running directly from those two structures, and sometimes what helps to find it is if the patient lifts their leg. It then becomes more band-like. 